understanding the balance between human and nature. After we learned to understanding the large statutes and systems, all the aspects of life in the universe certainly have a balance in terms of pairs. It has already become large statutes to create this balance, so all of the creatures in universe fit in harmony according to his will. Everything should be based on knowledge, either explicitly or impliedly through the holy book indicators. Exalted is he who created all pairs, from what the earth grows and from themselves and from that which they do not know. Life based on knowledge In the ecosystem of human life, humans become the epicenter of life on earth. With that purpose, the universe was created by the Lord to give life to humans. Humans live in nature and become the purpose of the existence of nature itself. The Lord of the universe guides and provides human sustenance with the laws that exist in nature. Wind, sea, air, water, mountains, and others were created to serve humans. Indeed, your Lord is Allah, who created the heavens and earth in six days, and then established himself above the throne. He covers the night with the day, another night, chasing it rapidly, and he created the sun, the moon, and the stars, subjected by his command. Unquestionably, his is the creation and the command. Blessed is Allah, Lord of the worlds. Sometimes we're not aware that all of this is the power of Lord in providing services to humans. Wherein his word stated that the Lord serves everything in heaven and earth for humans. From the statement, sometimes humans forget that they could live because they are served by nature and forget that their life has a purpose to make the Lord of Universe as the Rob who guides their life. Have you heard about the meaning of the truth of life? He organizes humans and the universe with all of his rules. In Quran, it's called Rububiyah. The universe lives based on the definite rules, exact sciences, the truth that undeniable. The sun shines just in time and the seasons are always circulates according to its path. The universe is a manifestation of a law of certainty that will never change. All the creatures are submissive to his laws. And this nature is full of rules and laws that work automatically. Like a large engine that has been running well according to the rules, nothing collides and unfunctional. This balance is the one that creates harmony in nature. Therefore, humans are prohibited from violating the law of equilibrium. So there will be no negative impact occurs on the life of the universe. Human consciousness to be default. To be a better person, humans should optimize his inner mind on the basis of faith, not based on personal desires or egocentricity by straightening up the perspective to obey the only Lord, leaving the pragmatic individualist mindset so that the character of Lord resides in our consciousness. Don't be enslaved by personal desires and make it as God on your mind. Have you seen he who has taken as his God his own desire, and Allah has sent him straight due to knowledge and has set a seal upon his hearing and his heart and put over his vision a veil. So, who will guide him after Allah? Then will you not be reminded? Only by understanding the characters and the teachings of Lord into human's mind, the subconscious, nafs al amaro the evil desires, will be docile and stable, nafs al mutmainna The spirit of Lord will take the whole control and guides humans to always do the right things, Hug and keep us away from all the bad things. Batil. Without the spirit of Lord, humans' desires will be controlled by the evil energy that plunges into the evilness. But on the contrary, when someone has been controlled by the spirit of Lord, then the person is essentially united with Lord, because Lord and His Word are one. The conclusion is sometimes humans forget that they live because they are served by Lord. In principle, there's nothing negative in nature. 
If there are negative conditions, it must be caused by the human actions themselves. Damage and imbalance in nature are caused by the hands of human beings who live without knowledge. Damage, squalor, poverty due to human life who doesn't use scientific knowledge and management. It has been seen that damage on land and at sea is caused by the actions of human hands. Lord wants them to feel. Humans should live based on knowledge, because knowledge is a form of Lord. Observe the universe. Therefore, there is no reason for humans to not be submissive to Allah, the Lord of the universe, and heaven devised and imposed the balance, that you do not transgress within the balance and establish weight in justice and do not make the balance deficient. That is gracious. He created nature to serve human life. Nature has perfectly served him, Lord. What has been legislated, that's what the nature do. Then the balance created. In human life, they are not directly submissive as Lama to what was legislated to them. That's why in holy books, humans are creatures that should choose the option either being submissive or be the opposition of Lord's law. In fact, the balance of the human mental and spiritual life is in the teachings of his word. So, when mental and spiritual of humans are in balance, it could be sure that they do not own Lord's words in their mind. Anxiety, fear, worries, sadness are forms of mental and spiritual instability. Indeed, those who have said, Our Lord is Allah, and then remain on a right course. The angels will descend upon them, saying, Do not fear and do not grieve, but receive good tidings of paradise, which you are promised. So it was very clear that the messengers of Lord who were carrying holy books which contained the teachings of Lord were meant to make people as his beloved ones. So the human life lives on behalf of Lord of Universe and not based on human personal interest. Has your life already based on his word to become Lord's beloved person on behalf of Lord the most gracious, the most merciful? Would you live a life according to his teachings?